Okay, so you want to do the granola thing? Yep. So today, we're going to do gluten-free granola. Right. And it's a very easy recipe, all right? Um, so what you do is you start out with five cups of rolled oats. And I use gluten-free because this is gluten-free granola. Can you pour that into the bowl when it's full? Tip it over. Okay, one. Let's not make a career out of this. Do it quickly. <laughs> Two, three, four, one more, five. Then you take uh, two and a half ounces of brown sugar. Should I put it? it? Yeah. All of it? All of it, every bit of it. Boom, right in there. Okay, and then you mix a, a liquid mixture which has maple syrup, and it's got oil, safflower oil is what I use, and it's got vanilla extract. And I always use the good stuff. This is really expensive, but it's worth it in my opinion. So there's one tablespoon of that, Frankie. Pardon Did you way. ever smell that? Here, smell it. You don't like the way it smells? I think it's amazing. I guess it's a grown-up smell. And then you use a third of a cup of maple syrup. Frankie, can you tell me when I get to a third of a cup? Where's a third of a cup? It's right there. Oh, great job. Thank you. <laughs> Half a cup of oil, so we're just going to bring that up to where it needs to be. And then you take all that and mix it into the dry. But before you do that, you need half a teaspoon of salt. I use kosher salt and pepper mix, which is one of the things that we've talked about in the past. But you can just use regular salt, that's fine. You use two cups of nuts. And what I do, can you hold that again? Yes. What I do is I use a mixture of nuts. In the recipe that we use at, at Chestnut, we use almonds, but we don't really have to use all almonds. So we got a cup of almonds here. That's good enough. Throw it in there, Frankie. And then I'm going to use a half a cup each of, of sunflower kernels and also cut pecans. So we're going to go half a cup. And you can use pine nuts. You can use walnuts. You can use whatever you like, actually. So it's pretty much up to you. Dump it. All right. Then what you do is you mix the liquid part in. Yes, of course. And the brown sugar is already in there. And that's the liquid part. Can and then you just mix this can together. I mix it? Can I mix it? You can mix it, yes. You want to make sure that you don't let your five-year-old do this. No, we can. You can let your five-year-old do this. But you want to make sure it's really thoroughly mixed. Okay, so I'm just going to use my big muscles to really mix this well. Very annoying. <laughs> it is. Because of the sound or what? Because me looking. You wanted, you wanted to be part, more part of the process? Is that yeah. the case? Oh boy, I'm sorry I excluded you. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to spread it out on a prepared cookie sheet, which is already done. So that um, is got a little bit of pan spray, a parchment sheet, and then I'm going to spray it again with pan spray, like so. And then, Frankie, what you're going to do, do it? is you're going to, yeah, you're going to pour that on there. Ready? Perfect. And then I'm just going to use this scraper to pull out all the extra stuff. And then what you do is, to the best of your ability, spread it out onto the sheet pan, like so. And slide it in a 325 oven. Pull it out after 25 minutes, and I'll use a metal spatula to press it. And then I'll put it back in for another 10 or 15. And so this is going to go in the oven. And through the miracle of video, we have some made already. And once it's made, then what you can do is you can just lift it up and... Oh, can I lift? Yeah. That's a big cluster. It's a big cluster. Frankie particularly likes the big clusters. <laughs> but you can just break this up and store it in... Can I have this cluster? Absolutely. Go Thanks. for it. Um, you can just uh, put it into an airtight container and it'll hold for a couple of weeks. Um, it's great for gifts for people. You can give it away at Christmas time. Is it any good? <laughs> she likes it. So that's granola. It's that fast. Just try this at home. This is a really good one to do with your kids because it's easy. And it's really hard to make a huge mess unless you drop the cluster on the floor. Don't do that, Frankie. Well, <laughs> okay, well, say goodbye to everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs> Till next time. There you go. Nice, huh?
so one of the things that we do in order to have Frankie have good behavior through this whole process is we give her snacks. And so we, today we gave her Cheetos. And, and, and there's a and there's a Cheeto Dingleberry. <laughs> <laughs> All the Cheetos aren't formed exactly the same. We're trying to hold them against them, but you know. Yep. Anyway. Thought, thought. I would forget this if I didn't set the timer. I made a big mess right here, so I'm gonna clean it up. I'm gonna pretend this is my measuring cup, and this is my measuring cup. Measure. And I have this much. And when anything falls, I just dump it into my measuring cup. Ha ha. Oops.